Turning conditionals upside down. Inverted mixed conditional sentences. Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to delve into a fascinating part of English grammar. Inverted mixed conditional sentences. Inverting the structure of conditional sentences is a powerful way to add emphasis or formality to your English speech or writing. So, let's dive right in. In the simplest terms, inverted mixed conditional sentences are those sentences where we mix two different types of conditionals, and the if clause is placed after the main clause. But here's the twist. We drop the if and invert the subject and auxiliary verb to make the sentence more formal or emphatic. This might sound a bit complicated now, but with a few examples, it will all make perfect sense. Generally, an inverted conditional sentence consists of two parts. The if clause, the condition, and the main clause, the result. Here's the standard structure. Had, should, were plus subject plus, subject plus would, could, might plus have plus past participle. This structure may change depending on the verb tense used. Let's take a look at some examples. 1. Standard. If I had worked harder, I could be in a better position now. Inverted. Had I worked harder, I could be in a better position now. 2. Standard. If she were more focused, she could have finished her project. Inverted. Were she more focused, she could have finished her project. 3. Standard. If you should need any help, just ask. Inverted. Should you need any help, just ask. These examples illustrate how you can transform a standard mixed conditional sentence into an inverted one. Notice how the if is dropped in the inverted form and the subject and auxiliary verb are swapped places. Inverted mixed conditional sentences are often used in more formal or literary contexts. They're also used to emphasize the condition. It's not wrong to use standard mixed conditionals, but understanding how to use the inverted form can help you sound more sophisticated in certain situations. And that's it. Now, you should have a good understanding of what inverted mixed conditional sentences are, how they're structured, and when to use them. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering any aspect of language learning. So, try to practice these structures in your conversations and writing. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this lesson was helpful. Happy learning!